Okay, today we're going to look at adding and subtracting with integers when there are negative numbers involved. So, here we've got a standard addition. We've got 3 plus 2. Both of the numbers are positive, so I don't have any negatives involved. There's no chance that my answer is going to be negative. I'm just going 3 plus 2. That's 5. Easy peasy. Now here, I've got 3 plus minus 2. Okay, now when it comes to having a positive and a negative stuck up against each other, the negative is going to win. Think of it as like if I was to say, I do not like cake. That negative in there, that not, means that I don't actually like cake. It's the same in this case. The negative is stronger than the positive. So it sort of cancels out this positive here. So this just becomes 3 minus 2. So 3 minus 2 is 1. Okay, now let's have a look down here. Here we've got minus 3 plus 2. So if I were to draw out a number line, I've got negative 3 here. And a plus means I'm moving back up the number line towards the big numbers, okay, towards the positive numbers. So now I'm going to be adding 2. So 1, 2. My answer would be negative 1. Okay, now let's have a look up here. So you know how down here when I said a positive and a negative next to each other, the negative wins? Well here, two negatives actually cancel each other out and they turn into a positive. So two negatives equals a positive. So this is actually 3 plus 2. So 3 plus 2 is 5. Alright, here I've got minus 3 minus 2. Now you'll notice that this one is different to this one. Up here, my negatives were stuck up against each other. Whereas down here, this is a negative number and this is a negative number. Okay, so what this question here is asking is we're starting at negative 3 down here. This time I'm using blue. But I'm going down 2. So I'm starting at negative 3 and I'm taking away another 2. So I'm moving to the left. 1, 2. So I end up at negative 5. Okay, so that question is different to this one up here. When they're stuck up against each other, the two negatives turn into a positive. But if I've got a negative number minus another negative number, the negatives don't cancel out. Okay, unless I'm multiplying or dividing, but we're going to talk about that later. Okay, whereas here, I've got negative 3 minus minus 2. So again, I've got two, negative, uh, two negatives, two minuses stuck up against each other. So they are going to turn into a plus. So now, let me find a new color. Let's go black. So again, I'm starting at negative 3. And I'm plussing 2. So 1, 2. And the answer is negative 1. Okay. So the important things to remember when it comes to adding and subtracting with negative numbers involved is if you have a plus and a minus stuck up against each other, your minus is going to win. Okay, so this becomes just the minus 2. So 3 plus minus 2, the plus gets cancelled out. It doesn't exist anymore. It's not important. Okay, and it just becomes the minus. Whereas if I've got two negatives stuck up against each other, they cancel each other out. And it just becomes a plus. Okay. Whereas if I have a negative number minus another negative number, those negatives don't cancel each other out. It just means I'm moving further down on a number line. Okay, so the number's getting smaller.